at the Dollar Tree today. And I was like, man, I'd make a good thing to for uh, quilting. Take it and draw it out and sew it on. So, I got a stack of these quilts that I made when they had the shed out back. And I got some more batting today. So I thought, well, why not see what we got and do it? Ooh, yeah, that would start right there in the middle. It'll take about six of them to do it. That would be nice. All right, here is the material I chose for the back of this one. And then this one... I have this one. Uh, this is pretty too. I wonder how well it would work on this. Start right there. That would work right there. And it'd probably work, yeah, three across on it too. And then I got this one. But I don't have a backing for it. Yeah, I do. This one. <laughs> it went flying. Where did it fly to? There it is. Okay, yeah, I do have a backing for this one. And this one, here's the one that uh, didn't lay flat. See, I got this one. It's two yards, and hopefully I can make it work with two yards. If not, I have a green I can go with. But I don't think, I don't think I'd rather really stick with a yellow on this one. I don't have any green in this one, really. So I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, that's not here. Don't think it's level right in here. I would have to. I wonder how come they don't never come out level. I think what I'm going to do. No, I got it straight. I sold it straight. <coughs> see it. Let's see it don't. It don't show it. It shows a bubble right in here. But everything else is straight. So what I'd have to do is so make another seam right in here. But then those ain't going to be straight. I don't get it. Probably take it apart and play with it. So we're not, we're not going to play with this one right now. We're not going to play with it. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to like it too well. And hopefully I can get another yellow. And put yellow with it. Now what I think I can do. You if you look. It's not straight up in here. Right in here. It's not straight. Okay, so probably what I need to do. Is take these stitches out. Start here in the middle. And take it down that way. And then come back here and take it down that way. That way we might be able to get it. But I'm not going to play with this one right now. Just play with one of these two. Body. And I don't want, I don't think I'd want the big butterfly to go there. don't think. Okay, so we're not going to do this one either. 
I think we'll have to stick with that one and work on it. <clears throat> I think that's the one I'll do. And then one of these will probably end up taking and sewing some fiber fill together <clears throat> and putting it together with the uh, with the space fiber fill. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. But <clears throat> now let's get this out of the way. Let's get this one out of the way. Now, I'm going to see what we can do about looking at this one. And I think I'm going to like that big butterfly right in the middle of this. I may look and see what else I've got to go on the, around it and just have the butterfly right here in the middle. See, it would have to be, yeah, about like that. And see if I can't find something else to go with it. All right, but in the meantime, I need to check out this and see if what I need to do to it to make it backworthy. Now I remember putting this right here with this quilt because I make a beautiful back. And hope I don't have to add, but. I may have to. Come on. Let's work it out there. Right, let's put some right there. And no, I ain't gonna fit that side. So, well, yeah. It'll barely fit this one. Barely fit. <clears throat> Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I had to add to it. So that means I need another color. Oh gosh, my hair's coming down. Yeah, but after I trim it down, it ain't gonna have anything. So I'll probably have to have something to go around the outside. So let's try this out. Lay it down. <clears throat> I heard that. Now, let's take and fold this into fours. Hopefully, it'll work. Oh, come on. space down here so I will have to add right there but I do right here and of course got it folded in fours and this is folded into fours so I'm gonna have to find something that will go with it and add to one side so These are all browns, and I really don't want none of that. No, not that one either. No. I'm going in my pile here. don't know if I have really anything. Let's see what we got here. Ta-da! This one right here should go with this red down here at the bottom. And that way we cut this one in half and make it work. 
think that would work. When I get to go down to my, uh, <laughs> I'll go down and get uh, some material. I'll just get like a yard. Hey, I'm recording, Mr. Rick. Oh, God, he's got his headphones on. I need to go stop him. All right, if my, com if my comments don't work on this one, we know why. Because he's doing that. All right, so, now, I'm going to take this one. And take this, and I'm going to sew <coughs> it in half. And that, then I'm going to <coughs> trim this down, and then I'm going to sew this one in half and trim it down and sew to it. I'm pretty sure that if I sew this one in half, salvage to salvage, it will work. So that one... And dot one. And then we trim it down. Get this up here. And now it might be the other way it looks like. Then I'll have another strip. But it should make it wide enough. It should make it work. Even if I do have a little bit left over, and go in my scraps, and somebody be happy to get it. Cause that's pretty. I like that. And make this right here, like the bottom or the top, either one. And uh, all right, I'm gonna go get all this right here done. Okay, I got it done, but it's too big now. So. What we are going to do is we're going to fold it in fours, which I'm glad it's too big. I don't have too big and too small, <clears throat> but what we're going to do is fold it in fours, and hopefully we can cut it down to where it will fit just right. Hopefully it'll look. We're gonna find out. Ah, no. Okay. <clears throat> Try this again. Yeah. All right. Now this right here should be the corner. Lay it out. Flop. All right, now we're going to take this one, we're going to corner it too and lay it in a corner. Fold it evenly. want it to go all the way against the corner you know evenly I want space in there this side will be just fine and I, I think this one will be too mm -mm -mm. yeah I think it's not here be okay too I don't like how big it is but it's really not as big Doing it like this as it was doing it the other way. But now, I think I'm going to leave it like that. So now we got to cut the uh, 
fiber field. And I gotta find out what I've done with my fiber field. Alright. I left it folded in fours. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna see. Oh my lord, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna like that. I want as much as I possibly can. And, but cut off a big chunk, not just little chunks. So I'm going to try to see what I can do about doing it this way. Let's see if what I can do. See, I can go up more. Okay, up more. Alright, I think that right there will work just fine. Right there. And that way I've got a big chunk down here and hopefully I can uh, do another quilt with it. So, what I'm going to do <clears throat> I think I'm going to want to go up a little bit more. I think i got too much here. I really do. I think i got too much here. I'm going to go up a tad more to where I'm going to be happy with it. I want to be happy with it. I don't want to be just satisfied with it. Uh -oh, something in my foot. A staple or something. Mm. Yeah. It's wood. Mm. All right, I think I may be more happier with that. Okay, I'm gonna get that. I might have enough to do two. Yeah, I may have enough to do two. It's not. This right here ain't really the level. that out see if that don't work could be my quilt not well <laughs> I can handle that but I think this right here will work uh can you hear me Rick no oh, okay let's see if we can do it by ourselves there we go all right now Let's cut this down, this away. <clears throat> we may have enough to do a whole nother quilt here. That would work out great. But we'll have to play with it and see. But that's, that's a pretty good chunk right there. I always buy the queen size because the twin size and the king size cost more. Alright, here we got that. 
Alright. Let's pull this one down. And then we're going to cut down the sides here. I like these scissors, man. I did a good thing when I bought these. There we go. Now we got those two strips. We use them on something else. And I think that that will work good. Okay, let's see what we can do about trying to sandwich it in it together. Let's see what happens. See if we can't work on it. Okay. Boy, I'm gonna have some pinning to do tonight. This is Rick to have his bed. It's already 10 o'clock. I don't know if I'll do it tonight or not. I'll probably just get it all lined up and straightened up and then do it tomorrow because I can roll this up or fold it up and it will be okay so make sure I got some on every side okay. I like a lot more batting or backing more than I do to bat in. But I do want to try to keep everything kind of straight. <clears throat> See what I do about getting it straight. <clears throat> oh, come on. Let's not do that. Okay, go down. Right at the end here. Let's get this cover out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know what to think about him sometimes. I think I'm gonna get it. I think it's my last round. <laughs> it's okay to have one side that has a wad on it. And oh come on, don't do that. Okay, maybe that'll work. So yeah, I got most of it on this side. I think that'll work. We're going to fix it to find out with this one. Oh, Lordy. Make sure I got backing uh -huh. and batting on the side and over here. I wish there was some way we can make it to where you could see exactly where it's going to lay at, but poor folk like us, we got to use our bed. <laughs> it makes it kind of difficult. And I think that's got it right there. But now I can't pin it down until I get my thing underneath it because I don't want to pin it to my, my, uh, my bed sheet. So I'm going to fold it up and put it up and lay it out tomorrow and try to do it tomorrow. And the 
and that way. I'll have his bed free. And this right here will work just fine till tomorrow. And today was the day I was supposed to go to court. And all I did was just get me a court-appointed lawyer. And if this lawyer does not really actually stand up for me, then we're going to guess, try to pay, us for, pay for a lawyer. But, there we go. Alright, we'll see y'all the next time. Rick ain't ready to go to bed yet, so I figured I'd take this top and see how I want to lay things out and make it work and go ahead and mark it. Now, I think I can take two of these right here and put one here and one here, one here and up there and still yet be able to put a heart here and a heart here. And squeeze that one in there. So I'll have to go over a little bit. So I can't get it even right in there. And then check it out over here. And that right there would work. So we'll do four. Put one more here. And then one up here. And then, uh, I don't know. I, pro I like the heart right here in the middle. But then we got the rest of it that we got to fight with. And I like the butterfly, but I don't want all of it to be butterfly. And I want something different in here. So if I take that... And then put it down here. I'm going to want to put it towards the bottom. And I can move this down. But I still got a lot of quilting spots. I wish that this was bigger. So I think I'm going to try to see if I can make this bigger. Okay, I found my orange peel. Now, I know that these will fit, this knot here will fit right in here, and it'll work out fine on those two. But now on this two, right down in here, this knot here is just way too much. So if I take this one, it's a little bit bigger and I can handle it more. But however, I can do a bunch of diamonds across here. And my fish, not my fish, but my, do I call fish? My orange peel right here and put the diamonds going that way. And I think that that would work like that. I think I could handle that a whole lot better. And I like these in the corner. And I can put these on either side. Right in here. Like that. So, I, I don't know. Let's see. Let me see if I can't squeeze that one in there. A little bit off. But I don't see why it wouldn't work. So if I take. Let's try to put that back in the middle. And here. Here and here. And then here. Here and here. On up and then. Make it across. With the diamond. I wonder how the diamond would work right in here. Oh, yeah. And put the diamond on all four and just leave this one completely off. And see how that works. 
So, I got to start with the butterfly, which I think it's pretty well much centered, and I can handle that. All right, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to draw everything on it, and you'll see it in the next video. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing, this is the way you do it. You go to Poor Man's Sewing, and you mash on it, and then you go all the way up to about... And you mash on it, and right there is Donate to Poor Man Sewing. I would appreciate it, and thank you very much in advance.